Yo YouTube, welcome back to another video and in today's video we'll be discussing the Archetype Saboteur and I will also be giving you advice on how to use him, how to utilize his main abilities and how to get yourself a win in Blood Hunt. If you want to enjoy today's video you know what to do, hit the sub, hit the like, turn notifications on and leave a comment on who is your favorite Archetype to use in Blood Hunt and why I'm interested to know. But Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, up next we have Trap Placement. Now Trap Placement is key to win any gunfight and I'll show you in the next clip of why it's such a key element in fighting. So as you can see, he triggered my trap, he got injured and it allowed me to put him down really quick. Now, the gas is still injuring the two players and they're still getting injured now and I'm putting bullets into this guy and look at how quick I'm into flesh on him. Now this is what you want, easy, downs with saboteur it's utilizing his main ability which is the gas traps if you place them in the right place you will kill any player that is coming towards you i'm telling you now trap placement is key to win any gunfight here is another example of using traps effectively as you can see this player did not see the trap and started taking a lot of damage we were able to get the down on this player without taking any damage ourselves. Everyone, I cannot stress enough how important it is to know where to place traps. Just as a reminder, you can have three traps set up at any one given time. You cannot exceed this limit, so... Up next is another tip for gas traps, and you can use a gas trap as a distraction to get away from your enemy and heal up. As you can see in the video, I evade my enemy, he doesn't know where I'm going, and he's distracted by the gas. Up next I'm just showing a clip of me utilizing the bushes as a cover. As you can see we can see a player in the corner healing so we take him out. Everyone it is okay to hide in the bush honestly. It's there for a reason. It wouldn't be in the game if it wasn't supposed to be used. It's called using your surroundings to your advantage. Next tip is gas traps can be used to get the high ground from enemies. As you can see this player drops down because he does not want to be hit with gas. Up next is literally an example of using gas traps in a confined space. As Saboteur works really well when in a small area with gas traps. Here's an example of using the gas traps. This enemy literally had no idea we were in here. That's due to our passive ability. No, he's gas trapping. Oh, I went off there now. I was wondering. It's probably because it's on the. Here, I've been revealed, but there's another player coming in. And they didn't. They stopped. I don't know what's going on. What's going on with that player? <laughs> they're glitched, but they're getting damage. Oh my god, I downed them. Nice. See, the gas trap is effective in small areas, especially when it's the last are. Up next is the top five of the last zone. Here, you can see I'm invisible. I'm using my invisibility and my vanish to get away from the enemy. Next, you will see I'm fighting the enemy. I drop down. I'm in the middle now where all the players are. Guys, you do not want to be caught here. I was running around like a headless chicken. But luckily for me, I'm using the melee damage because that is meta currently in the game. You will lose up close against someone that has the samurai sword. Here, I wait patiently for the enemies to finish their fight before a third party to fight and win. Here we go. Boom. That's all you need to do, guys. If you see a fight, let the two of them fight each other. As soon as one wins down the other guy, like I just did, and you will get your very first win. If you found this guide useful on Saboteur, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and peace. <laughs> 